Oh, check out my hair. I didn't, I didn't even decide to put a hat or anything on. I'm like, I'm ending, I'm ending the year like this. Giving you guys a bonus video. Bonus video because, well, I wanted to get it out there. Mary's upstairs working, so um, hardly sleeping. So uh, I figured I'll come down here and shoot something. Yeah, and I thought this would be kind of a, uh, a good way as well as a, you know, a way that you're like, yeah, that just kind of, that just kind of makes sense, you know, and uh, yeah, Canon is, is getting rid of, getting rid of their SLRs, DSLRs, yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about that, shall we, today, yeah, okay, so here, here is, it's on Canon Rumors, of course, Canon Rumors, Canon exec confirms that the ES 1DX Mark III is Canon's last DSLR. Now, for those of us that have shot for a while, um, this may be a, oh, that's sad. Um, because like myself, uh, I started shooting photography with, with film cameras. Um, and then uh, I moved into uh, digital SLRs, uh, and I actually bought the very first Rebel that came out. I think it was a six megapixel. Uh, and then I upgraded, I upgraded to this guy right here. You guys see it? I still I still have it. I've, I've kept these cameras and I think I'll, I'll just continue to keep them. Um, this is the EOS Rebel. You guys possibly see that, the T2i. T2i, and I bought this one because uh, it shot video. 1080 video. No like uh, autofocus or anything like that. So all manual focus. But first one that shot video and really this was uh, my gateway, I guess, into into this this whole what would end up as my whole YouTube world because this was kind of the first camera that I had that was like, oh it kind of shoots very cinematic and filmic-y, which which I liked. Then and I still I still love this camera. Then I decided it's time for me to go a little bit more professional, right? And I got this one. You guys see this in here? It's look how big it looks and feels. I don't know. I'm so used to mirrorless cameras now. Uh, this is the um, Canon EOS 7D. You guys may be able to see that right there, right? The 7D with a 24 to 105 on it. And to this day, this thing shoots like a champ. Yeah, 18 megapixels. You know, I can crank it on right now. I don't think I have a card in there, but ready? There it goes. Focus, yep. Great little combo. I, it, it's, it's absolutely lovely. You can see the little, right? Uh, I love these two little cameras right here. Maybe point them out this way. Uh, I use this Canon 7D so much, so much. So what do they say? Uh, it says, in an interview held by, you guys can read it right here, I'm not gonna pronounce their names, uh, with Canon chairman and CEO, we can learn about Canon's strategy regarding its imaging system division. It is natural that mirrorless cameras will become the mainstream of digital cameras. The market needs are acceleratingly, acceleratingly shifting to mirrorless cameras and in line with this, we are steadily shifting manufacturing. According to Matarai, I don't know, Canon will end the development and production of the flagship model of the digital SLR cameras a few years from now. So, stating Canon's SLR flagship model is known as the EOS 1 series, the first of which appeared in 1989. The latest model, 1DX Mark III, released in 2020, will be the last model. Yeah, so it's not as if you won't be able to go out next week and buy uh, one of these EOS 1DX, 1D, 1DX, 1DX, 1DX cameras. They're just not going to be producing any newer versions. So what's out there right now, what's out there is, is all you're getting. So, and that, to be honest with you, that kind of makes sense. One of the issues that I had with Canon is we're kind of in that you know, weird stage, or we have been, I guess, where, you know, they had the DSLRs. So you have the EF and the EFS lenses. Um, and of course the EF, which I, I still am a big fan of that EF lens, 
really right now with adapters works on everything. And if you're kind of in that stage where maybe you can get a really good deal possibly on like a, a digital SLR camera, um, one of my recommendations would be when you're looking at lenses, because as we can see, uh, your next body that you buy Canon wise will be mirrorless, right? So if you wanna make sure that the lenses that you're buying for your digital SLR your, will be compatible uh, in the future, um, then you wanna make sure you get EF, not EFS, right? So like all the lenses I've ever bought, really, except for one, um, EF, right? Because they work on full frame and they, with adapters, can work on the, the M series, they can work on the RF series of cameras, et cetera, et cetera. So, if you're gonna do it, that's the way to do it. But if you're looking at a uh, camera now, from this point forward, uh, you know, you really want to, um, one of two things. I would either hold off for a little bit because one of the things that they've talked about is that we will probably see uh, some, I wanna say upgrades or replacements to the Canon ESR possibly this year, 2022. The uh, RP, uh, that one will probably get a replacement and they won't necessarily be, you know, the Canon ESRP Mark II or the Canon ESR Mark II. They may just be a new a new one in particular. Maybe they'll be like an R7 or an R9 or whatever it is. Um, and we will possibly and hopefully, most definitely hopefully, see uh, an APS-C version because a lot of us, uh, and this is my, myself included, um, went out and bought uh, into the M lineup. So like the M50 or the M6 or the M100 or M200 lines when they came out. Um, because you, you really got a nice APS-C sensor. You got uh, good image quality. It was really nice and light and easy to carry around. Everything that like a consumer photographer that wanted something that was a little bit of an upgrade from like their smartphone that would be something that would like, oh yeah, that's a, that's a nice camera. The M50 did fantastic. I still have an M50. Um, but again, the M series, that whole M series lineup, really, let's just admit it, right? It's gone, it's done. Canon is gonna, and I think it's about time, personal preference, personal opinion, I guess, that we lose the, I buy camera body A and the lenses I buy are only good for that style. Like I buy an M series lens and it only works on the M series and it won't work on a DSLR and it won't work on the RF series. You know, I buy an RF lens and it won't work on a DSLR and it won't work on an M series. We gotta, we gotta get rid of that for one brand and just see, say, you know what? We have, this is what Canon will probably, is, is probably doing. We have RF bodies. That's it, RF bodies. We have full frames. And inside full frames, we have from the, you know, eight, nine, ten thousand dollar cameras all the way down to the thousand dollar cameras for full frames, depending on features that you want. Then we have APS C RF bodies, right? Uh, RF lens mount bodies. So we have maybe like the 7D, for instance, we have something in that price category, which is kind of the upper level. So you're looking at maybe two, three thousand dollars at the high level all the way down to what this would be, right? Or what the Canon M50 would be, its replacement. And I think that's a better move going forward because one of the things that a lot of us have always kind of learned is that camera bodies, you're gonna change camera bodies constantly. You know, you may be someone that changes it yearly, you may be someone that changes it every, you know, six, seven, eight years, but what you don't want to have to do is invest in four or five lenses and then realize in a year or eight years that you got to invest in all new lenses again. So I think Canon is going to just be like, okay, RF lenses is kind of where we are. This is where we're going to be. And this is where what's going to take us into the future. So let's cut everything from here back, all gone, here forward, mirrorless RF lenses. And uh, I think, I honestly think it's smart. I think they should have done it sooner. I think they've waited too long because they're, they're, in, that, they're in that scenario where they're like, ah, oh, well, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to upset any of the 
SLR users and we don't want to upset. Well, at some point in time, it's going to have to happen. You're going to upset somebody. So you might as well just rip the bandaid off and move forward. Um, so I think it's a good idea. And the bonus for some of us, myself included, is I'm hoping that because we see this, we may also see EF lenses drop in price. And again, as I said, EF lenses, not necessarily EFS lenses, but EF lenses, um, they're still really great lenses. And my hope is that we'll start to see some of these lower in price, maybe even in the used market as people start being like, oh, well, I'm gonna buy a new R-based camera and uh, I'll, I'll sell all my old gear to get new RF glass. So for me, I have no problems buying some, some nice EF. I'm actually looking at uh, the Sigma 24 to 70 F2.8 EF to put on my R6 and my R because I'm a, I'm a fan of that little lens. What are your thoughts? For those of you that are shooting Canon, are you, are you sad that they are uh, getting rid of the DSLR? Uh, do you think they should be waiting longer and, and creating some new ones? Or do you think, uh, like me, uh, it's, it's time? And again, this, this is good. Rip the Band-Aid off and let's move forward. That's, that's my thoughts. All right, guys, uh, it's, it's New Year's Eve, New Year's Eve. Um, I'm not even, I'm not even going to put a logo or anything on this video. This is, this is a neutral video, a little bonus video for you guys. Um, we are, we will have possibly a little video come out later on tonight as I officially do the name change from Cruising Canada to, to Greg Toop, me, as the channel changes, changes over, it's happening tonight crazy it still makes me feel a little weird a uh, bunch of work I gotta make make new new graphics and stuff like that finally today just to make sure it's all ready to go and uh, first um, first video of 2022 coming out tomorrow morning yeah all right guys I'm gonna leave you there and uh, we'll see you possibly tonight have a great New Year's Eve have a great New Year's it's a uh, it's time new hat new outlook new opportunities, and uh, we'll see you in 2022. Later, my friends.